What is up? What is up? What is up? Welcome guys to another stream. It is Thursday. So uh, joining in on some PLO fun for today. Uh, as I said last week, we're going to implement more of the variety streams through the week. So today is the PLO day. Don't know if I want to make Thursday my official PLO day. I think I would prefer to have it earlier in the week, but we'll just see how it goes. As last time, um, I am still super new to this game, so we're going to be playing some Russian Cash PLO 10. <clears throat> Let me check real quick whether everything is working. And overlay seems to be decent, quality is good. Let's see how many people tune in. It's 2 p.m. here, so yeah, last PLO stream was in the evening, I think. But yeah, uh, pool looks fine, 22 tables are running. I don't have many tags on the players, but I just went through the player pool to see, uh, basically for stats, people um, tagging some nidier players, some regs with aggressive preflop stats, so... Yeah, we're also going to be doing some giveaways for the memberships on the YouTube channel. So if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to stay on the stream for the round of giveaways. Going to do two rounds, I think. And yeah, let's get the session started. I have the first person on stream already. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure to say hello in the chat. And gonna start two tables and then off we go last session on PLO I think we won a couple of times I'm not sure but it was super swingy if you have not seen the video on the YouTube channel check it out we had a 600 BB pot in the very first session so that was quite exciting so yeah let's kick it off Patrick what is up Welcome. Uh, we pick up aces in the very first hand. So you know on that, what I am about to do. We're gonna pop this. I assume we always wanna get aces in pre-flop. Here with the flop bottom set with the force. So yeah, all the tables are running. So someone told me on the Discord that we should be always opening to pots and PLO, so I'm gonna stick to that for now. See how it goes. A uh, pretty bad board for us. Still gonna go for the small bet here. Zoom mm -mm -mm. on the ace, we mainly check. Not really a hand we can do anything with, even against the small sizing. So we're just gonna muck. Do, 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 do. Mm 
no idea if that's good enough to open in late position. <laughs> but let's try. Suited ace with the king queen. Pick it up. Suited aces. That's a decent hand, I assume. <laughs> Gonna bump this up. Which here? So welcome, guys. Uh, 15 people are already here. So playing PLO today. This is PLO 10 Russian cash. And we're going to be doing some giveaways on the YouTube channel as well for the memberships. So make sure to join. If you're new here, as always, leave a like, leave a comment, and defend this. And we flop middle sets, pretty decent. We have the 7-5 working too, so I assume we don't need to raise this out of position. Just gonna call here. Yes, um, what is up? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Decent turn. this here on the turn with middle set and the open ender redraw we don't want hearts to get there when he takes this long we obviously have the best hand Yeah, we definitely don't want to spend hard. Swivel steals. What is up? Appreciate the sub, my man. I guess on the paired boards, our flush draws are not great, and then if we have them, we want to have the not flush draw. So maybe this call preflop was trash. <laughs> T-Winger, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Hope you are having a good day. Kind of tense here on the button, but this board is terrible, so we're not doing anything against three opponents. I really need to get some preflop ranges, I think. I'm really not sure how tight or loose we want to be playing in these pools. From going through the player pool earlier, uh, it seems like a lot of people are three betting a very low percentage can be too bad to call here though against the button open with the suited ace this board will fall Quite a big adjustment uh, going from No Limit Hold'em to Pop Limit Omaha. I am already confused just watching the action. <laughs> I'm 
to check this board back. Turn the flash draw to go alongside our gut shot. I assume we just call here. And we break. Great to Savage, what is up? Thank you for the follow. Now we have to mark. Is there any bluffing going on at PLO? Who knows? <laughs> nice suited little hand here. Guess this board still wants to see Bet as the preflop aggressor. On the last PLO stream, someone told me I should take a look at Jane Nandis, who is apparently one of the biggest PLO crushers who also does content. I think our stream just broke down. <laughs> What happened? Trying to reconnect here. Now we took it down with the C bet. Yeah, apparently my stream disconnected. Hope it's gonna be back on in a second here. I don't know. I think we're back. Don't know what happened here, guys. Uh, connection issues? Don't know. Should be back. So weird. <laughs> yeah, we lost a couple of people due to the connection issues. <laughs> I hope it will be back in a second. I'll keep an eye out on the performance. We have someone greeting. think we do anything out of the small blind unless we have a decent holding Chris Chris poker what is up welcome I really want to know how tight or loose I can be in this pool I have really no experience so far but it will come with time, I assume. Uh, Luke is asking, good luck. Thank you, Luke. Uh, is your focus now PLO? No, I will maintain my No Limit Hold'em streams. I will always prefer No Limit Hold'em, I think. Also because, like, I know the strategy and I'm... I'm decent at No Limit Hold'em, I would say. <laughs> but I wanted to include more variety streams, so there's going to be more tournaments and more PLO this year. We have a Splash Pot. You know what happened last stream? 600 BB Pot in the Splash Pot. Um, no idea what to do here, but we're going to limp it. Guess against the pots, I bet we have too much. Picking up aces. 
always nice. No action. So this pot is already 80 big points. I guess the money will go in. Yep. I assume he has pocket aces. Oh, he flopped the straight with the 6-8. I did not see that. Oops. Scoops the pot. I assume we're still super loose from the button first in. And against the donk I'll fold. Swivel Steel says, if you want good PLO content, look at Phil Galfond's. Right, Phil Galfond is playing PLO as well, right? That's his main game too. Yeah, definitely. I really enjoy uh, Phil Galfond's like general videos on mindset and overall strategy. Never really watched his PLO sessions though. Might be good. Might be good. But yeah, it's gonna be a rumble and a tumble in the beginning. <laughs> this is not the board we hope to see. Still gonna go for a small C bet here. Nope, they just pop into you. I don't know if this strategy is a valid one, or people are just waiting to hit. Uh, something like the nuts and then blast pop 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 uh, Zach was appreciate the follow welcome Go back to the full view here we pick up jacks With some potential wrap possibilities I think I don't mind getting it in against this 23 big blind guy. Take it down pre flop. Mm. Hey, main, what is up? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Kind of have to call with the 7 5 so good, right? <laughs> It is my favorite hand after all. Not really the board I was hoping to see. I think we just fold this. When check check, easy check back. Pick up queens here. Gonna ISO the under the gun limb. And we flop a set and have a flush draw. I don't think we only want to have pot size stats here. Take it down. Uh, in small bank, paint you ISO king queen suited. I don't play PLO. Maybe. We'll see. As I said, I'm super new to this too, so I am definitely. Not familiar with all the positional pre-flop raises and three bets and whatnot. <laughs> P Winger says PLO is too weird for my brain. I feel you, buddy. I feel you. Uh, but I like to watch it. Yeah, I've never really watched it apart from like the PLO televised cash games. But yeah, I'm confused myself. <laughs> uh, I guess we call here. I'm not sure. Being out of position in PLO is probably pretty terrible, but I really don't know if these type of hands 
want to call three bets. We turn the flush draw. And we make the flush. Do I even bet here? I don't know. Maybe for a block sizing. Get some value from aces or like ace king. Let's go. Pick up aces. And we have an under the gun open. Hot. What's the three bet sizings for PLOs? 60 big blinds. Go for the C bet. We block pocket nines, which is nice. I think against him, we just get the money in here on this draw heavy structure. Nice. Take it down. So, if any of you are familiar with PLO sizings, feel free to tell me what sizings to pick for three bets and C bets, etc. I do have a lot of learning to do. check on this board structure. It is a no limit holding. So I assume it's also viable for PLO. Ru Bailey, what is up? Welcome. How you doing? Do we call the double suited hand? Maybe not against under the gun. Feels like we're having some connection issues again. Uh, pick up kings with the suited ace. False. Really not a great board for our hand. I'll still go for the C bet here. But we're gonna be super careful here. Take it down nice. Uh Rubeli wants to know if I thought about moving to Austria. Like my whole life is in Hamburg, so. I doubt I want to move to Austria, <laughs> but I know that most of the poker pros at some point moved there or to the UK. I would prefer, like, if I had to move, I hope I don't, but if I had to move, I would probably move to the UK more than Austria, but that's just because I like the UK more. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna check call one here. This really does not get better. 7 8 completes two. I think my hand doesn't really handle action that well here on this board. Now every 9x beat us two. Checks it down. And we're good. Nice. here I assume is king 10-9 can 
we peel one with the double gutter? Our blocker is the thing. We do block kings and aces. That's not the turn we hope to see. Checks it back so quick. Do we bluff this? I'll try. Snap holds. Nice. Told you I'm gonna be bluffing some. <laughs> when people limp in PLO, I assume it's still a fun tag. Pick up tens here. We're just gonna call. I don't think I want to 3-bet this hand, but again, uh, if there is a PLO 3-betting strategy, I don't know if it allows for cold calls. Turn to pair, some straights get there, 7-5. So we just call, hope it's not a heart. isn't. Dun. I'm just gonna value bet here with two pair. Snap calls. With the sets. Alright. We make a boat. large against two opponents. Really interesting. Let's hope you have pocket eights. Yep, let's go. Check calling a set. Shouldn't he value bet himself uh, the hand before this? Feels like check calling a set there is a bit nitty. Again, I'm definitely no expert, but this feels too nitty. Check. So I'm gonna do a round of giveaways in like 10 minutes or so. Checks it back. The ace is not a great card to bet. Funny that people recognize me from the YouTube, although they play PLO. Uh, thank you. And good luck. Picking up the aces, double suited too. That's what's a premium hand if not this? <laughs> That's pot. Double suited aces. Holds, unfortunately. Pick up aces again. No action, no action. 
Pocket Aces are so vulnerable in PLO. Like, basically every single flop is bad. <laughs> or extremely difficult to navigate. Go for the C-bet here on the King-8. King? And he's gonna tell us if he has a King fairly quickly. Gonna go for another block. And then probably just check hold. That might have been too tight. Uh, UK, Rook Bailey says, I prefer the UK to Austria. Uh, being a pro in Germany is not the smartest thing. <laughs> well, there are some pros, right? But yeah, there are better countries to be in playing poker professionally. I do agree with that. Thomas, what is up? Welcome. PLO again, cool. W ZDB says, welcome buddy to the stream. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Flix Poker, thank you for the follow. Welcome. So yeah, guys, if you're new here, make sure to follow the channels. And so I'm going to be doing a round of giveaways for the YouTube membership in like 10 minutes or so. So join the stream on YouTube if you want to be part of that. And for everything else, if you have any questions, etc., make sure to join the Discord. This feels so loose, but this hand looks so pretty. <laughs> I really love the double suited hands. I can't help myself. <laughs> Against the squeeze, we have to mock though. So little information about PLO and so much on Hold'em should make this more easy. Yeah, the variance is insane in PLO. It feels like every time you get the money in on the flop, it's usually a flip. <laughs> I'm gonna ISO here against the button limb with the suited king-queen. And we get the bad news right away. Just walk here out of position. Aces. We do like aces. But no action. Uh, Chudong, hello to you too. Welcome to the stream. Gotta defend here. You see a lot of monotone boards today. Double two, King Jack 10, the 3 is not great, but from the cutoff I'll still open this. And we're gonna see that these high board. Snap call, so that's usually gonna be some Ace X, I assume, in PLO. So we'll just get this one up. So many monotone boards. Uh, against two opponents, I'll just check here. And we have the 9876. Double suited. Must be decent, right? I think in position against this 3 bet. It is a squeeze. I'll still call here. Go to a flop. What are these monotone boards? 
It's probably due to the fact that the hand distribution with four cards uh, favors double suit hands, so monotone boards will be fairly common. And we open the ace eight, flop the flush draw, go for the seabed here. Have to mock against the bat here, unfortunately. Would have revered the strict. Goes for the raise. I did not even see that the cutoff call. <laughs> uh, just call with enough flush draw. And we bink it. I think I'm always stomping this. doesn't pair so we can safely jam folks thank you Victory, appreciate the follow, buddy. Welcome. Basically the same hand. We're gonna defend again. Do flop the nut flush draw again. And we pick up aces. Let's see what happens here. Definitely squeezing. Michael is asking where the Discord link is. So we get called. Definitely pocket kings stay in their range here, but we're still gonna go for the C bet here on this board structure. But I'm probably not inclined to stack off here ever with just aces. Too many reps with King 10. This is quite the terrible card. 8-9 improves as well. So I think... I think... We actually have to check fold this. Marky, what is up? Thank you for the good luck. Welcome. Appreciate you being here. From above, what is up? Welcome. Grayface80, thank you for the follow. Um, so whenever you ask for like links, whenever I talk about links, you can find all of my links always in the description and then below the stream as well. Yeah, I, I kind of think we have to muck here, right? It's a terrible board. Feels a bit sad. I don't know if it's on my end, but the client seems a bit laggy today. Yeah, just got dealt out too. Probably too early to open this. Ace King Queen, double suited hand. Must be worth something. Suited ace with the sixes. Down free flop. I guess we can call the double suited sevens in the big blind.
break this one. Jack High. <laughs> Why is it three hearts? Why is it not double suited? I'll still call here on the button in position. Don't know how aggressive this pool is. This guy just min clicked it here. Well, we're not holding to the min click, are we? Flop a decent hand. Middle set. And we have the straight now, although hearts complete. I think we block on turn and river. Take it down here, nice. Tense good enough to open. Double suited. Every double suit with hand is just nice to look at. <laughs> Probably what a recreational player says in PLO, right? <laughs> Flat middle set here. I'm gonna pop against two opponents. Quite the draw heavy board. <laughs> and we take it down. Amit, yes it is. Splash pot. See if we can get something going. Pocket aces in the splash pot. Let's go. <laughs> ah, someone give us some action, please. Also have. Is it bad to call suited aces? I don't know. Uh, flop the flash draw in the open ender, and we do have queens on the main side board, though. I still think he's always c betting this, so we're just gonna check call. Do not improve. Mm. We still wanna call. This feels so punty. But I feel like with the open ender and the diamonds, we have to. Make a weird set. To <laughs> check back top set. <laughs> what a niche. <laughs> How do you check back top set blocking Jack 10? <laughs> These guys. Well, good for us. I really don't know what I want to do on the river with the set. I think we still check both though. Especially blocking the straight draws and the flush draw.
Pick up jacks in the big blind, get a walk. It's unfortunate. Two days with the pair of tens. Basically break this against two opponents. So we'll just give up here. I'm not blocking into two players. I think we can safely muck here. It's gonna be impossible to get to showdown in this spot, out of position. Let's go for the aggressive route, rebat the button open here with the suited ace. Calls. One C bet on the queen high board and give up. I'm not bluffing this. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. Made the straight. <laughs> what did he call the flop with, though? Like, absolutely nothing. Am I right? Yeah, absolutely nothing. I am amazed. I don't think his hand wants to call pre-flop either. Where is it? Ah, it's alright, I guess, with the suited ace. Pick up aces. And we have the spades covered. Always nice. Shorty cold calls. the small bet here have to go for some value and I think I'm stacking off against him yeah unless he calls if he calls it's super dicey <laughs> jams it in man <laughs> oh this is so sick yeah and <laughs> get aces back to back Ace of the... <laughs> no, you have to bet this. The egg. Should we still call here with the gutter? We're gonna check, we're gonna check. It's weird. Uh, the issue is... Um, 